Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you that there's really no such thing as failure in chemistry. Um, I had tried to make Schweitzer's reagent um, by making copper hydroxide as the first step and uh, it turns out when I made it I, I only have a gravity filter so the, the stuff stayed wet for a really long time. Um, it's a very thick precipitate so it takes an extremely long time to dry uh, if you don't have a vacuum filtration system. So when I filtered this stuff, it, it stayed wet for a while, and it turns out what happens to copper hydroxide is that it oxidizes to copper oxide, um, especially when it's wet. So my whole sample of copper hydroxide um, turned into this black powder of copper oxide. Um, and so that was the failure as far as the Schweitzer's reagent goes. Um, but then I figured, you know, I've got copper oxide, so why not try to make a thermite out of it? And so that's what I did. And you can actually see this on the stir rod that I used. The top part of it is the blue color that the copper hydroxide is supposed to be because that section dried off quicker uh, and then that the rest is the black of the copper oxide that was still wet. Uh, so that's what happened with that. So like I said, we're going to make this into a thermite and uh, I'm just going to combine it with some aluminum powder. And the ratio that you want for these types of thermites is 4.42 to 1 copper oxide to aluminum. Uh, so I came up with 12.3 grams of copper oxide, and that means I'm required to use 2.8 grams of aluminum to get the stoichiometric really equivalent amounts. All right, here's my thermite mixture all ready to go. Uh, you can see it's gotten a little bit lighter because I mixed in the aluminum to it. Uh, and I've also got my patented uh, thermite ignition strategy going here. So I've got a little bit of potassium permanganate uh, in the center here and then a piece of magnesium ribbon uh, stuck down into there. So uh, as I've explained before in my other videos, the, uh, I'll mix a couple of drops of glycerin onto the uh, potassium permanganate. That'll ignite after a couple of seconds of delay. Uh, then that's hot enough to ignite the magnesium, which is then hot enough to ignite the thermite. So let's take this outside and see how it goes. Okay, here's the results of the thermite. Looks like it pretty much all reacted. Uh, you can see the reddish color, which is from elemental copper that was produced, I'm sure. Uh, let's take a look at this. This is the uh, remnants of the permanganate glycerin portion of the reaction. Uh, and I imagine this red powder has got to be copper. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like it collected into a big lump like these usually do but copper is a little more violent than some of the other ones so it's probably a little too much to expect that hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching